All right, hi everybody. My name is Mo Moody, and I really want to talk about what's something really pressing, the aquarium, right? And also public transportation, how they're both tied. Hot topics currently being discussed currently on the District 15 public forums and debates. Now, let's start with the aquarium. The aquarium is a good deal. Now, let me explain, right? Most people are concerned is that can the aquarium be profitable and does the numbers make sense? And based on the release of information, there was a lot of alarm and concern from the public. But you have to understand, the current Ross Park Zoo is part of the AZA Association, which is the Aquarium and Zoo Association. That means that zoos and aquariums are connected. And the current aquarium will look to get the same type of certification. And based on the raw physical data, that if every single person who visits the Ross Park Zoo would then also visit the aquarium, the aquarium will break even and pay for itself. Now, I've done a lot of research, looked into a lot of different aquariums, to try to get a feel of like how top-performing and low-performing aquariums are doing. So, looking at a low-performing aquarium, there's an aquarium in California called the Aquarium of the Pacific, all right? And the last year of 2022, they only had 1,000 500 people attend that aquarium, which is really low numbers. No offense to the aquarium, probably a great place, right? However, they still broke even, as in they didn't lose money. Even with a small, minuscule turnout in a smaller location, still paid for itself. So the concern shouldn't necessarily be there. Now, there's another study, right? If you look at um, the aquarium in Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia all right? You can see that it will be on the probably the best aquarium list and the worst aquarium list, depending on which search that you're doing. But nonetheless, on their on average, they're still making about thirty million dollars profit or breaking even, even during the pandemic. Most aquariums in most places have hit a major downcline because of the pandemic. Numbers are still being flexed and being worked out as we come back to normality okay but to keep this in true focus if you look at that particular aquarium that did 30 million let's look at a, a top performing aquarium all right so now there's a study of an aquarium that was done out of uh, new england and the new england aquarium it was generating 256 million dollars a year for the city and about 253 plus or minus million for the state so a top performing aquarium is generating about a half a billion dollars a year. Other reasons why the aquarium is also phenomenal and good is because we are environmentally friendly and sound and we do care about where we live. And when you have an aquarium, you're able to pull up fundraising for research. And those monies that go into it help unlock future discoveries. By having an aquarium, you also become an animal rescue haven for animals that need a place to be saved. And having a location here, especially in Syracuse, which is in the center of major transportation, because we have Canada to our back, we have Pennsylvania, and we have downstate. So we can have a major impact on the environment and on uh, research and animal care. So you have that involved, plus the fact that we can have all these functionalities that partner with the school system to have people get a chance to understand the ocean and the ocean life. Some of us from in this area, we have the wonderful beauties of the rivers and lakes, but we don't necessarily have the sea, and this will give them a good taste of it, and will be free for the students, the same way we did it for the zoo. So the aquarium is a good deal. Now, another important major important thing about the aquarium is that having an aquarium takes city of Syracuse and turns it into a tier two major city. The only reason why Syracuse is not a tier one, in my opinion, which it should be, is just because we don't have a million people in the populace. But being on the tier two list means that you're on a much shorter list when it comes to outside investment. So companies like Micron and JMA when they're looking for places to invest and move into, they necessarily don't want to move into a tier one city because it's too many people, it's too expensive. But tier two, mm, that's exactly where they're looking. And we're going to get a lot more people. We're going to have a lot more traction, a lot more funding, a lot more opportunities. So even the aquarium itself will open up so many more doors outside of just basically paying for itself. Now, the other important key thing is that 
I plan to be on the uh, Ways and Means Committee, also be involved in the Economic Development Committee to partner with transportation and tourism, you know, in the area. So I want to be able to drive that and make sure that I can use the expertise of my experience within the tourism industry, because I have tons of experience, to help draw in more tourism to guarantee that the aquarium will be profitable so that we can then take those funds to use what we want, which is what we need, like an enhanced transportation system within the county. Now, I want to be very clear. Centro has been a great partner to the county, and I look forward to working with them, and I'm currently reaching out with them to take advantage of the fact that they're currently investing $34 million of their own money back into the, into the transit system. I want to partner with them and give them an idea of how we can come up with a solution to maximize those dollars and be able to have a serious impact. Their money, not ours, not taxpayers' money. But if they were to, for whatever reason, fall short and fail, then we can use the funds and the revenue from the aquarium to subsidize and help transportation. You need one before the other. You just can't spend, 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 spend recklessly. We have to manage and balance the budget and be able to afford the social justice programs that we all want. And we'll be able to do that by step one, starting to have an aquarium. So my name is Mo Moody. If you want to learn more, log in subscribe so you can update and all the upcoming content and I'll catch you on the next one.